Hey, what's up, my Dokus? Jason, and welcome you back to more. Super Mario Galaxy is a part of Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Last time, we completed Gold Leaf completely. We started on the engine, obviously. Completed Gold Leaf. I don't know why I said completed leaf twice, because that's, like, redundant. But we also, um, yeah, actually, that's all we did. <laughs> I don't know, like, I was just, like, at a brain fart, because I just, like, realized I screwed up how I said that, and I was just, like, I was, like, I said completed and complete. Are we completely and completed? It's redundant, I know. <laughs> I'm getting bad at these intros as time goes on. Anyway, this time, we're going to be continuing through the engine room by going to our next galaxy, and one that I haven't been particularly looking forward to. Not saying that there isn't, like, that all the stars are bad in it. There's just one star that is bad in it that everybody knows about. Anyway, we're heading into Sea Slide Galaxy. Going after Guppy. Also, uh, you know, this is kind of an odd thing to say in the middle of a series, but if you're seeing a bit of a better quality out of, uh, you know, today's episode and whatnot, uh, that is because I went, I found a problem with my previous capture card, uh, where it was just, like, cutting out certain things and, like, audio kept cutting out a lot, and so... I decided to go or to buy myself a new capture card. I officially have an HD60X. So, you will be hearing a lot better audio quality, hopefully, and uh, you'll also just be seeing a higher quality as well in games. Now, who do we have here? You some friend of those penguins? Let's get something clear here, Landwalker. This sees, sees mine, see? If you want it back, show some gills and make it through the eight rings. Yep, we have a mini game. So basically, Guppy here is going to uh, leave eight leave eight rings around the ocean, and we have to go through them all in order to you know complete the star. You want to be uh, you want to try to get them all in a row though, because. Uh, they will disappear if you wait too long, and if you wait too long uh, for them to disappear, I believe you'll fail the mission. Because I think you have to go through all, all eight of these rings. I don't think he has any extras that he spawns. I could be wrong on that, but I don't know. I like I, I think it's easy, though. Like I don't think you can really screw it up unless you're just swimming. If you're using a red shell, which red, red shells, as we've seen, are faster shells, like you can go underwater f faster with them. Uh, they also have homing things. Actually, I don't even know if we've used them. Oh, wait, yeah, we have, because we defeated the eels. They also have the homing beacon and stuff, but like, yeah, they're, they're, you're able to keep up with Guppy pretty well. And you can also press ZL to like break in the water. So that way you're not going too far ahead of him or like running into something. Still a pretty easy mission either way. And, interestingly enough, it looks like we have a com cosmic comet in orbit here. <laughs> Underwater Cosmic Mario Race. So this mission's actually kind of interesting. Uh, it's kind of feels like it's in the same uh, way of spawning as the uh, cosmic 
uh, Comet in Freeze Flame, where, uh, but except for like Freeze, the difference between this one and Freeze Flame is that uh, Freeze Flames is based around an area that you actually haven't been to in the game, in the level itself. But this one's more, it's like, you basically just have to complete the first star, and more than likely the combat will show up as long as your cycles are not screw screwy. Because, like, this one is based around just going, a going on a race through the, through the half of the ocean. Like, there's literally nothing else. Uh, so it'll it'll show up basically as soon as you complete the first star, which is you know which is pretty good. I mean I'm not I'm not against it, but it's still an easy Cosmic Mario race regardless. Faster than a speeding penguin. I'd also like to note that the um, that Cosmic Mario race we just had, that is the final one in the game. We have done all of the Cosmic Mario races. So that is, I guess, one of the uh, one of the many comets uh, completed. We've got a penguin race starting here soon. Want in? All right, this race is on. All right, we have ourselves a, a race against four penguins. Uh, it's not a particularly hard race, especially if you grab the red shell and you just kind of keep cruising along. You should be able to beat, beat out your opponents pretty easily. Because the good thing about, like, uh, about the red shell is that as long as you don't break, you kind of have consistent speed. So it's like, you know, you can use speed, these speed rings to gain a boost and everything, and like, and of course I screw it up because I'm a dummy. That, and I'm probably, like, overthinking inverted controls or something, knowing me. But, anyway, we just keep going through here. It's basically kind of like the Guppy race, except for, you know, the Guppy race ended about here, whereas, uh, you know, this one ends at the finish line. And so we have to basically just do a full lap around, uh, full lap around the entire ocean. Uh, and then we win. That's all there is to it. Nothing too difficult, nothing too out of the ordinary for Mario. And there we go. Succeed. I said succeed is it? I should just say success. 11696. Nice. Here's your gold medal, champ. I just want to see if Guppy says anything. I actually don't remember. Nice going, I knew he had the right stuff. He probably said something earlier, but I just didn't think about it. And it looks like we made the Hungry Luma appear. So that's always good, but now, oh, I'm surprised. I thought I thought the uh, comet a comet was going to appear, but that's okay. Well, let's go ahead and head back in for mission three. Alrighty, we have the silver stars of Sea Slide.
Alrighty, so getting started here, yes, we have a Silver Stars mission. These are just, you know, Silver Stars bait are uh, scattered throughout the entirety of uh, Sea Slide. However, they're. I don't know. They, they kind of are, but they kind of aren't. That's kind of the tough thing about them, is that uh, they're scattered throughout, like, few of the major areas, but they're not scattered throughout the entire level, because there's, like, an entire section of Sea Slide that it doesn't, you know, that doesn't actually have anything on it, and so, like, there's not really a point in going over that direction. But for the most part, they're kind of scattered. So, starting off here, what we're gonna, you know, what we're kind of doing is grab it. We have our bee mushroom here. Um, I'm just gonna collect some star bits because... As you can see, there is a hungry Luma there, and we are going to want to feed him. I also just realized I might have ma whacked my uh, pop filter <laughs> there for a sec. Let's talk to him. Hey you, hey you, got any tasty star bits? Alright, he needs 40 star bits. So let's go ahead and feed him 40 star bits. Transform! Alrighty, and now what we need to do is we need to come up here to grab this silver star. Also, that is a, obviously you can tell that is the secret star uh, for this area, so we're going to cover that after we complete this because, you know, we already started on the um, silver star mission, so we might as well see it to fruition. Uh, excuse me. So where I'm starting to turn into Nintendo Capri Sun with all the burps I do during videos. <laughs> but anyway, come over here. We've got a red shelled Koopa. Uh, there's also a toad over there and some uh, or another bee power up if we so need it, but we do not. But if we buzz up here, we can find ourselves our third uh, our third silver star. And then we just head back this direction because behind us is actually, or behind where we started is where we need to go in order to get the rest of the silver stars. Which involves climbing this tree because yes, climbing tree is good. Okay, so. Um, crap, I lost my train of thought. Anyway, there are some of these, uh, spider dudes up here. I literally said their name in a different episode, I forget what their name is now. I think they're Spranglers, actually. I think it's Spranglers is what their names are. Again, I already said it in a different episode, so it's like, you know, my brain is just, like, farts a lot. Let's just say, like, life has been interesting. I've had a lot going on, some good, some bad, but, like, I've just, my brain has just been scattered recently. Alrighty, now that we've activated that, uh, thing, activated that, like, water spout, it took us all the way over to this middle island where we can do some things here. One, we can, uh, get that, uh, Ooh, ooh, a star bag. Do I want that? Um, but we activated the, uh, or not activated, we can get those rings of shells that'll get us star bits. But also, there is this, uh, there's this, um, question mark coin that has music notes. And we get all the music notes. We get a one-up. Very nice, very nice. And also, if we uh, whack this turtle on the, or not turtle, but crab on the back, we also can get a one-off. Spingo. But come up here, and we have this old man. We actually, we know this old man. Uh, we know this old man from uh, Drip Drop Galaxy. 
There's all kinds of hubbub in Seaslide. What's going on? I need to get away from this from this crab. This crab is literally out to kill me. Like, I'm not even kidding. That crab is legitimately out to kill me. Also, after we collect our silver star, we get a launch star that will take us all the way back here. Very nice, very nice. And then we can just use the sling star to fly all the way back over here and grab our star. Alrighty, so heading back into the secret star. Obviously, we don't. Have to, I don't have to tell you where exactly we have to find it because it's obvious where it is. But we also have two options. We could do do it without a bee mushroom, or we could take the bee mushroom with us. And because of the way I'm structuring this LP, I think I want to. I think I honestly want to try both ways. So, I think for Mario, we're going to go without. We're going to try it. We're going to see if we can do it. Let's see if we can do this without. It's basically the same as Hurry Scurry Galaxy. But we're going to see if we can do this without the bee mushroom. Because it is possible. I, I know this much. It is very possible. So let's see if we can do it. Alright, so this time around, however, uh, notes are scattered across every single block on uh, the, the platform. So, we basically just have to kind of uh, go around this way, or go around all these different ways and just collect each of the, uh, click each of the music notes, and then do some long jumps. And then if we kind of just actually stick on a pattern like this, then we should be able to grab them all pretty easily. Like so. See, no need for a bee, a bee costume. And the time has come for the thing I've been dreading the most. The purple coin comet. Purple coins by the seaside. Yeah, one of the worst purple coin missions, I actually think is the worst purple coin mission in the entirety of Galaxy, or even Galaxy 2. Yeah, I don't like this one. It's too long. It is just too long, too big, and ridiculous. So, in the interest of uh, sanity, and I really just don't have, you know, anything I can talk about for a straight, like, ten minutes of pure gameplay, I'm gonna speed this up, because I don't think we need to talk through this. I really don't. So, anyway, I guess, uh, cue the, uh, what, music, whatever I decide to play. Go!
pain in butt. Pain in butt. That's all I gotta say. Pain in butt. Anyway, that's it. That's all of Sea Slide. And actually, I want to see exactly how long that took us. Because I think... I don't know. Let me check. It should tell us a clear time on it. But I think that might be Galaxy, only Galaxy 2, actually. Now that I think about it. Yep, nope, because the best score is zero coins. Yeah, no, no, no time. But anyway, that is the worst, ga uh, not worth, uh, not worst galaxy, but worst star out of the way. Which means it is smooth sailing from here. So, next time on Super Mario Galaxy, we head in to my favorite galaxy. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, make sure you give it a like. Troops out a ton. Make sure to subscribe to Dibbly Dibbly if you have not already. And I will see you guys all later.